everybody out there? Good morning, teams. How's everybody doing today? Outstanding. Hey, I want to welcome you all. I want to welcome you all to the FRC Championship and FRC Live. So if you don't uh, know what FRC Live is, it's basically an opportunity for us to uh, talk about some different topics. It's also an opportunity for you to ask questions, and we will answer to the best of our ability any of the questions that you have. Of course, like any other situation, we have announcements that we have to make. And what I'd like to do initially is make a brief announcement that we do have the new super duper green light bulbs downstairs. If you end up selling these light bulbs, you end up making about $11.50 per light bulb for your team. So it's a great way to raise funds for your team. Uh, the booth is located downstairs, right in front of the um, uh, first store. So if you get a chance, stop by and talk to Mark. He'd be glad to tell you about the program. The other thing I would like to mention before we get into today's activities is please visit Scholarship Row. We have a whole bunch of uh, colleges and universities down there, ranging anywhere from MIT, Kettering, and even small colleges like Daniel Webster College. Believe it or not, they still have a $30,000 scholarship for a lucky senior out there. If you're interested in, uh, in finding out more about this, stop by Scholarship Row and talk to them. Okay, today's topic uh, that we're gonna t discuss is called Kit Happens. And it just so happens that today, I have Kate Pilot, who is my Kit of Parts manager right here. Kate. <laughs> and Colin Fultz, who's my Kit of Parts engineer. I'll myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the intent of today's discussion is to have the control system and news and any questions you have about the Kit of Parts. Today's Kit of Parts as well as the Kit of Parts of tomorrow. I think uh, one of the things you should be aware of is we do have an agreement with uh, NI and the intent is for us to be using their control system at the C-Rio all the way out through 2014. At this point in time, we're looking for concepts, looking at ideas, and we're interested to hear your thoughts about uh, a new potential control system, if you have any thoughts on that, for 2015 and beyond. Uh, at this point in time, I would like to uh, go on and turn the uh, presentation over to Kit, or Kate and Colin, and they would talk to you about the three major components of the kit, and like I said, if you do have questions, we're here to answer them for you. So, Kate, take it away. Thank you, Bill. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here, whether you meant to be or not. We're happy to have you. Um, so we're just gonna, like, like Bill mentioned, we're gonna talk about the three different components to the kit. Um, the structure of the kit has evolved a lot over the last six years that I've been doing this. Um, for those of you who were around five, six years ago, you remember everybody getting the exact same kit at kickoff and that, that was it. Um, since then, we've evolved to this model that we, um, that really kind of solidified this year in terms of the, the kit of parts it has three different components. The kickoff kit, which is what you get at kickoff. The virtual kit, which is what you can either get directly from suppliers. And then the third component is first choice, um, and Brant Bowen is here from Andy Mark as well, and um, he'll be able to answer some questions about first choice that you may have for them. So the kickoff kit, um, as you know, is what you get at kickoff. It's the, the traditional totes that you all know. Uh, we'll continue to do the rookie kit and the veteran kit based on your, your rookie veteran status. Um, and, that, and we're gonna con continue to maintain that, and what we really wanna maintain in that kickoff comp kit component is that surprise and that, you know, for, for lack of a better explanation, that Christmas feeling of what's in there and I don't know and I'm gonna open it and this is really exciting. Um, the second part is the virtual kit. I'm gonna let Colin talk about the virtual kit. So the, the virtual kit has been a part of the kit of parts in, in some form or fashion for a number of years. Um, the, the BIMBA donation, you know, where uh, there's a, a range of different cylinders you can get and it wouldn't make sense for them to send cylinders to every team because it's such a specialized need. That's been in the kit as long as I can remember. Um, and so we kind of formalized some of those donations that have been a part of it for a, a really long time. BIMBA, Altium, Autodesk, PTC, anything that you can, you know, kind of download and get on a team-by-team 
basis where it's not the exact same use every time. Um, and an another part that we added to the virtual kit this year uh, were the product donation vouchers, which we talked about in our, um, our, our kickoff video um, and seemed like for what I've heard from suppliers that they went over really well. Um, at, but we are you know, interested to hear your guys' feedback both today and then in the kit of parts survey that we'll talk about here in a second. Um, and so that what the product donation vouchers are is when a, a company like DigiKey has literally thousands of products that are very applicable to FRC teams. And, but they want to let you actually pick exactly what you need because not everybody needs the exact same thing from DigiKey every year. And so the, the solution that we came up with were these product donation vouchers. Um, very similar to a gift card. Except that you know the biggest thing is that it needs to it needed to be able to cover um, something there in its entirety. So it couldn't be you know a, a twenty dollar gift card for something that costs a hundred dollars um, because that's just putting more money out on the team side to even get any use out of out of the donation voucher. And so we wanted to make sure we maintain the integrity of the donation from the team side, you know, in the PDVs. Um, and, and that's how that kind of came along. And and I think we'll see more companies want to do that next year. Thank you, Colin. And then the third component to the kit of parts this year is First Choice, which was piloted last year and then developed even more so this year. Um, one of the things that um, that we like about First Choice is that it allows us to accept donations from suppliers who can't donate 2,500 of something to us, right? In order to go in the kickoff kit, we need something for everybody. Um, and as we get bigger and as the number of teams grows, that's uh, not as practical as it used to be to expect suppliers to be able to do that. And so, you know, a great example is Fluke was able to donate the digital multimeters, but they there's no way they could have afforded to do that for 2,400 teams, but they were allowed to do it for several hundred teams. And so that was an option. Um, um, and so it allows us to accept donations on your behalf and make them available to you. The catch is, of course, there isn't enough for everybody. So it is a first come, first, 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 come, first serve basis um, that this year we were able to manage, Andy Mark was able to manage through the, the $100 of first credits, 100 first credits um, that teams were allotted as part of your registration. Um, and so we're always, into, that's, that, we're going to continue with that first choice model. Um, our objective is to migrate more and more components from that kickoff kit to first choice and develop first choice in a bigger and better, have more variety, more options available to teams, it beef up the inventory so that we're not running out of parts because we know that some of the more popular parts we do run out of, but beef up that inventory that so from year to year, um, uh, running out of parts isn't such a concern, but you still have the option to pick what you need. Um, but really still maintain in that kickoff kit that functionality of something that you get a kick off that's exciting and depending on um depending on where we go from there, is it enough to build a, a, a drive base to get up and running over the weekend? And that's something that we're going to be working through. And we're, we're really interested to hear your feedback about what, how do you value what the kit of parts is and how, how do you use that? What's important to you as we kind of make these strategic decisions going forward? Because that's a really big component that we want to make sure that we capture. And the main way we want to capture that um, because frankly, it's just the most practical way to capture that, is through our Kit Apart survey at the end of the year. Um, has anybody filled out the Kit Apart survey in the past? And how many days did it take you? Three days, four days? No. <laughs> so what our objective this year is to cut the kit of parts survey by two thirds. So it, hopefully it will be one third of the questions, one third of your time, um, because we really do value your feedback and we want to make sure that, that we're accommodating you guys in doing that because it's important to us. Um, and so please, please provide your feedback in those surveys so that we can make better choices about how to best service the teams um, while kind of maintaining the, the constraints that we're under. Anything else? So those, that's kind of the general um, information that we wanted to cover today. And we'll open up the floor to questions. Nancy has a microphone over here so um, that we can Everybody can hear your question. Does anybody have any questions about the kit? Over 